There's the disc. There's the gear. And you don't want to you want to be real careful not to damage any of these gears around the edge of it. Any of these teeth, you don't want to put it. You know, I was having a hard time getting that off of there. You sure don't want to put a screwdriver or anything against that and damage those gears. It will affect the playback of the motor. There's the shaft. There's the two indentions right here that those screws go into to hold it in place. The only thing left is the speed regulator. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out now. It's held in place just by a nut right here at the end of that arm. It does have a spring in there, so when we put it back in, we want to make sure that that spring's back in place. Slides out. Got a little bit of a bend to it. Look at that. And let's see, we still need to remove these two pins for the governor. Right here. There's one there and one in over here. Those were in there really stiff. And again, there are little tiny ball bearings inside of these pins that I want to make sure that I don't lose. So let's see if I can push those out. There's one side. The ball bearing is still down inside, so that's good. This side is stubborn. There it goes. And the ball bearing still inside. We are ready to clean. That's pretty much all the parts that there are to it. Governor, brake, spindle, that's it. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, kerosene out. I'll clean these parts up. We'll be ready for reassembly here before too long. Okay, here are all the pieces laid out on the table. I had several interruptions during the day, but I've got everything cleaned up. Uh, the frame didn't clean up quite as nice as I would like. You can see that there's still dirt down inside of here. This is where the disc of the governor spins. and It's just caked on there. I tried everything that I could try to get that off of there, but it just wouldn't come clean. The most important parts are clean, the shaft and down to the pocket where the spindle fits in is clean. And of course all the, uh, the governor pieces are clean. There's the little bearings that come out of the inside of the governor pins. And here's the larger bearing that goes on the end of the spindle. Um, there's not much you can do with the coils. I just simply wipe them off. But it's all ready to go back together and I'll work on that tonight. I did notice one of the governor weights are loose. So I need to pull these two screws out of the governor right here. There's a screw there and a screw here and I'll pull this counterweight off with the spring and I'll tighten that bolt up underneath it, screw up underneath of it because it's 
that's too loose. The rest of them were okay. But I'll retighten all these points to make sure that the governor's good and tight. Now as I'm putting this back together, let's see, of course these two pieces go onto the spindle, which is right here, and if you'll notice on the spindle there are, there they are, two indentions, and these little set screws right here fit inside of these indentions, so we want to make sure that those are seated. There's also a notch on one of the governor pins. This notch goes on this side, and what this notch does is position the governor at the right, the correct position. So we want to make sure that this screw here seats inside of this notch. The other, the other pin is a smooth shaft. It goes over here, and this will be the one that uh, we move in and out to adjust the tension on the governor. So I'll go ahead and put these ball bearings back into the parts cup because they are easy to lose and this one's trying to get away from me as I speak. I'll drop that right down in there and I'll go ahead and put this other one in there too. Just so that they don't get lost. Okay. We'll start with the speed regulator. It's this little arm that goes along here, and the uh, little screw adjustment on top of your motorboard that you adjust your speed with rides against here and, and turns us back and forth. It has a leather pad right here that goes up against your governor disc. That's what adjusts the speed. I'm going to put this in first because you cannot get to this nut after you get everything else in place. And there's a spring that goes into place and also I might note that there is a notch right here that this little set screw needs to go into after we get it into place. And let's see, it takes me a little, a little bit to figure out how this goes back in. And the spring goes in here. find that little indention that this nut fits into so I'll tighten this down and back it up just about a quarter of a turn and I found the indent dimpled the nut goes into. Let's see if I can get it to tighten down. Good and snug, and it is spring-loaded, so I'm ready to start the rest of the assembly.